Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Virtual Preschool. I am so glad you have decided to join me for circle time today. But I am really sad that we can't meet in person today. So I feel bad about that, and I wish we could all be here together. But we will be back again in a couple weeks. So everyone just stay safe and healthy, and we'll be back here again. So let's go ahead and look out the window. You're gonna look out the window at your house and see what the weather is like at your house. So I'm not gonna actually put any arrows up here today because you're gonna check the weather at your own house, okay? So when you look out the window, is it partly cloudy, cloudy, sunny, windy, rainy, stormy, or snowy? And if you were to step outside the door and check what it feels like, does it feel freezing cold, cold, cool, warm, hot, or burning hot? Okay, so you're gonna figure out the weather at your house. All right, let us look at the calendar. Ooh, I forgot to grab the pointer. Here we go. So who remembers the name of our month? Yes, January. So let's go ahead and count the numbers. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What comes next? Thirteen. Yes. And let's look at our pattern. Snow person, hat, mitten. Snow person, hat, mitten. So what's going to come next? Yes, snow person. So we have a number 13 with a snow person on it. All right, we need to do one more. So 11, 12, 13, what comes next? 14, and our pattern, snow person, hat, mitten. Snow person, what comes next? hat yes so we have a number 14 with a hat on it okay so let's say the whole date today is january oops oh we forgot to do the days of the week see i'm all off okay let's do the days of the week really quick all right so the last day of school we had was w w wednesday thursday so today is Friday. Yes, sorry, I meant to do that first, but I completely forgot. So today's date is Friday, January 14th. And do you all remember the year? We've talked about it. 2022 or 2022. Very good. All right, so I have a book to read to you all about bears. All right, for this first week that we don't have school at preschool, we are going to be talking about bears. So I have a book all about bears, and this book I thought works out pretty well because it's actually about the seasons. And we've kind of been talking about the seasons, right? We talked about that our new season is called, who remembers? Winter, yes. So we're gonna watch a bear as it goes through the different seasons. So this is called A Bear's Year. Winter bear drifts into sleep, Earth's snowflake blanket soft and deep. Northern lights paint the sky, gray wolf wails a lullaby. You can see the wolf off in the distance there, and you can see the bear under the snow in his cave. A cozy dreamer in her lair cuddles newborn baby bears. So there she is inside her cave or wherever she's staying with baby bears. Springtime bear wakes at last. Her springtime cubs are growing fast. They walk, then run and climb so high while mama keeps her watch nearby. There's their mom and there, oh, look at the bear cubs. That one's all the way up a tree.
cubs wrestle, tumble, chase, and hide, then take a nap side by side. Summer bear treats her cubs to juicy berries, tasty grubs. Find grubs in the ground. They're sort of like worm things, but not quite the same. <laughs> cubs catch fish. Find bees that swarm. For they must learn, oops, excuse me, I skipped a page, and dig for roots when days are warm. For they must learn what mama knows while flowers bloom and grass still grows. So their mama bear is teaching them all the things they need to know to be grown up bears and live on their own. Autumn bear digs a den, a sheltered bed for this year's end. Coats grow thick, bodies strong. Soon bears will doze all winter long. Remember, that's where the book started, was with the bears dozing, hibernating, right? Food grows scarce, leaves turn gold. Mountain's breath will soon blow cold. Days are short, nights are long. North winds sing winter's song. Last year's cubs almost grown, dream they'll soon be on their own. First snow falls, bears stay warm, nestled close in earth's safe arms. Winds subside, still descends. Bear will sleep till winter's end. There's the bear over there. And that is the end. All right, so I have some work to show to you today. This work went home with you towards the beginning of the year in a folder. So hopefully your parents still have that somewhere. So I'm going to show you some of the activities that are in there for today. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you looks kind of like this. And it is panda bears and they're, they're big, they're big to small or small to big, just kind of like the pink tower. All right. So we are going to put these bears in order from smallest to biggest. All right. So I'm going to find the smallest one. There it is. I'm going to put some glue on the back of it and I'm going to glue it down on my paper. Now you don't have to glue yours down if you don't want to. You can just put them in order on the floor or a table. It's up to you. I just um, happen to have a piece of paper I can glue them to here. So here's our next smallest bear or getting bigger, right? So we have those two on there so far. See? And then we find the next biggest bear. And then we find the next, oops, next biggest bear. And the last one, which is the very biggest bear. All right, so we have put the bears, oops, push that down a little bit more, in order from smallest to biggest, just like the pink tower cubes, right? All right, I have one more thing to show you today. So you have also this in your packet. It says match the number to the correct picture. So, oh, you know what? I need scissors for this. Just one second, let me run and grab scissors. Kind of missed that. Be right back.
Okay, here I am. It's going to take me a little while to get used to this again. Probably by the time I get used to it, we'll be back coming into the classroom again. <laughs> okay, so, so we need glue and scissors for this one. So we're going to cut out the numbers first. You see we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to cut on these dotted lines to cut the numbers out. And there's a little piece in between each number, so you kind of got to cut that out. All right, so then I have all the numbers 1 to 6. I'm going to kind of spread those out so I can see them all. And then I'm going to look at the paper, and I'm going to count how many bears are in each rectangle. So let's look at the first rectangle. How many bears? One, two bears. So I'm going to find the number two. There it is. I'm going to put glue on the back of it and glue it into this little square right here. All right, so there's the number two with the two bears. I'm going to do one more with you. You're going to do the rest of by yourself at home. So let's count these bears. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six. So I need to find the number six. There is the number six. So I'm going to put glue on the back of that one. and stick it to the picture, or the little square next to the six bears, all right? Then you will do those and finish the rest of them with the rest of the numbers, okay? So that is what I have to share with you today. I will have some of, there are more activities for bears in your packet, but I'm not gonna show them all to you today. I'll show them to you the next couple times we talk about bears for circle time, okay? So it was good to see you all um, on the screen today. I'm glad you joined me and I will see you again. Well, it's not going to be till next Wednesday because we have Monday off for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. All right. Bye everyone.